a spiritually filled thinking woman. And that is uh, what we've been lacking in our community. News, but not now, because we're going to get some buzz behind the buzz. The hashtag justice fighter at attorney Griggs is still buzzing with us. And so we're going to uh, throw out some questions. If you're on Periscope, we can see your answers. And we've been having some Periscope issues today, so I have the foggiest idea what's going on. We're going to end up with a recording of that, but Facebook. And you know what? I, I forgot to grab another device. Wait, you have a phone? Yeah. Jump on that. Keep an eye on the Facebook one so that you can share that for me, uh, my design hat, because something is going on with uh, with Periscope. I don't know what it is, but keep an eye on. You probably will see it on your page or on my page. There you, go. there you go. Share the Periscope. Let me see what's going on with Periscope. Okay. Community Bean is back, and I have my, what, what am I drinking, Marlene? What am I drinking? You're, you're doing a cinnamon dolce latte with a little bit of caramel in it and putting on Wow. That's how it is. That is nice. Yeah, it is. I love, I love this Facebook. Great. I'm actually looking at myself. And <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I can get addicted. Yeah, any any questions pop in there? Any questions pop in on the Facebook side, then you can just look at your phone. Okay. And then we'll see what's going on with Periscope. But, and Rhonda Huggins, Rhonda, please uh, give us a like and a share. We're getting some notification issues going on on Periscope. But we had a chance. Hey, listen, the attorney didn't have to be to court today, so we've got some more time with him. And I wanted to do a couple segments. I want to get some real sound box uh, because these are things that we can continuously share at dryerbus.com. We like to take you to the source. And uh, you guys recognize the face, you recognize some of the poses, you've seen him on the local news, you've seen him walking in and out of courtrooms, uh, but he is there to represent us, not only that, he serves in several capacities outside of the courtroom uh, with the NAACP, yes. uh, several organizations. Give, give a little bit of your resume one more time for us. Okay, well, I'm Attorney Gerald Griggs, I'm a native of, of Atlanta, a member of the Georgia Bar. I am currently the vice president of the uh, NAACP chapter here in the NAACP Atlanta. I'm also the chair of the uh, NAACP Georgia uh, Criminal Justice Committee. Uh, I'm a member of the Gate City Bar Association and a member of the DeKalb Lawyers uh, Association mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, member of Jackson Memorial Church. And I'm, I'm just an all-around Georgia boy. Now, Jackson Memorial just did a shout. Yeah, y'all just did a shout out. Shout so, out. are you a native of Atlanta? Born and raised. I was about to say, you from Jackson Memorial. What, what were the Academy alum, Emory alum? Um, so, everybody out there who loves Atlanta, I love Atlanta. Where do you, you think you get your passion from? I get my passion both from my mom and my dad. Mm -hmm. my, my dad uh, retired from the Postal Service. He was a he was an Army veteran and came back home and opened several businesses and ended up retiring from the Postal Service. And my mom was a 39-year veteran of Atlanta Public Schools. Wow. <laughs> wow. And then so how did you, what did your mom say about you representing the teachers? She was all for it, and actually a lot of the referrals came from former teachers that either she worked with right. or that actually taught me. So mm -hmm. uh, that's where my passion for APS came mm -hmm. because I am a product of APS, and I was thoroughly disturbed by the, uh, the thought process that, you know, if you're educated by APS, you know, a a APS students can't learn. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I, I am a product of Atlanta product Public Schools. There you go. I, myself as well, I am an Atlanta native. Um, one of the things that we we know of lawyers is based on what we see on, on television, even television shows. And, and uh, there were a lot of people that, I mean, everywhere you turn, that seems like everybody is a lawyer. Yes, there's a lot of lawyers out here, but, you know, there are not a lot of uh, people that fight for justice. Mm -hmm. And you need to understand there's a With, distinct there's a difference. difference. I was going to say, there's, there's a, a distinct difference. difference. You know, you got... You got lawyers and you got justice fighters. And, and, you know, a justice fighter can be more than a lawyer. If you're not active in the community, if you're not giving back, if you're not going uh, on the front lines and fighting systemic issues of, of judicial imbalances and, and, and rights imbalances, then you, you're you not a justice fighter. And that, that's why I pride myself on being a justice fighter. Now, so being a justice fighter, and we oftentimes wonder that because we do see, I mean, especially being in Atlanta, I mean, we have home of civil rights. Yes. Um, is it some of that that you have to pull back on when you get into the courtroom? Yeah, sometimes I do have to tone it down mm -hmm. um, because, you know, I am passionate about what I do. I'm passionate about empowering minorities that have been disenfranchised. Uh, but you have to understand there's a level of civility mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the practice of law. Mm -hmm. So you can be just as passionate, but, you know, maybe not as abrasive and upfront. Okay. But I'm, I am really passionate about, you know, empowering people 
to know their rights and, and to enforce their rights. Mm -hmm. Do you always take a, a trial cases? Yes, okay. I, I pride myself on being a trial trial attorney and a litigator, okay. and I will always be that. Right. So I, I mean, I'm not the type of attorney that sits behind a desk and you know deals with pushing paper. I'm right. going to be in front of a jury or in front of a decision maker, whether it's a judge or a hearing officer mm -hmm. or you know some type of board that we can actually you know get rights from. Right. Got some questions. A lot of people always want to know what is it with the grand jury? What what's happening there with that process? And uh, why is it that we also always seem to fare unfavorably coming out of grand jury situations? What is that process? What's happening? Well, I mean, the grand jury comes from, from uh, time memorial from, um, um, from England. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically, it was to, to make sure that a case had enough evidence to proceed forward. So you were presented to a, a group of the committee, the citizens, to make a determination. It's always done in secret. And so I think at this point, that is an, an, an annotated or, or an, antiquated system. Mm -hmm. We need everything that's transparent. I think a lot of politicians run on transparency, and the law needs to be transparent. So the grand jury system is basically a prosecutor presents a case to 24 to 28 citizens of the community okay. to determine if there's enough evidence for the case to proceed to trial. Right. But it's all done in secret. Uh, there's no uh, presentation of the defense. Mm -hmm. There's no opportunity unless you're a police officer or an elected official mm -hmm. to present any evidence or well, to now, give a statement. Are these average people, yeah, the same citizens. people who get called in for jury duty? Because it seems like they seem to be privy to something that most of us Well, work. they're supposed to be um, pulled from the jury pool. Okay. And the jury pool is pulled from your, your um, you, you register to vote and your driver's license. Mm -hmm. So it should be the same people. But okay. the problem with the, that system is you're only getting one side of the case. That's And that's the thing about it, because you feel like the, you, you always end up asking yourself, do they not see what we see? No, they don't. They, they don't see what we see. The prosecutor okay. presents his case based on what he has, and the prosecutor's going to present one side. You're not not, gonna not get, the defense, no. them, just the prosecutor. Just the prosecutor's I want to prosecute this case. Here's what I have. Here's what I have. Here's what I believe the person did. Wow. Here's the reason why I believe they did it. Do you think that I'm right? And so, I mean, if you hear one side of the story, of course you're going to believe that one side. Wow. And so, they, you know, there's always the old saying, prosecute can indict a ham sandwich. Wow. And here's the other thing, too. A lot of times we feel that the person, the, 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 um, the, we, like people versus OJ. And I don't want to keep bringing up OJ, but it's people versus and OJ. it's not the people versus OJ. Okay, but it's not necessarily the victim. It's like the victim is in, 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 a, in a trial case. It's technically not necessarily no. represented. No. You don't have an, you don't have an attorney that's really not. They're 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 prosecuting. Answer me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. They're prosecuting the person based on the fact that they broke a law, not yes. necessarily what happened to you. Exactly. And what people need to understand, the district attorney will always say he represents the people. No, he does not represent the people. He represents the state. Right. You know, the state has an interest in protecting the laws. Right. But if you're a victim, you really, you're supposed to have a voice, but you really don't really have don't. an advocate. Now, I always say that I represent the people, okay. one person at a time, because okay. the person on the other side of that, either the people versus or the state versus, mm -hmm. is a citizen that is only accused of a crime. You're not convicted, you're not a criminal until 12 citizens who listen to both sides, gone through all the evidence in a court okay. of law, applied the law to it, and then say yes, you are convicted. At that point, you become a criminal. So any any politician that runs on, he wants to be tough on crime, but is stripping away our fundamental constitutional rights, is not being tough on crime. He's being tough on innocent people. A person is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. A person in jail is not convicted of anything. Now, a person in prison is. And that's the difference, and I think that's the distinction that most people don't understand about our criminal justice system. Why are we hearing now that there are so many people sitting in jail awaiting due process? And that's a good question because, you know, the restraint of liberty is mm -hmm. supposed to be a, an exception. But when somebody's stopped by the police mm -hmm. and arrested, we just automatically assume they're guilty. And it's so we start something. stripping them. You must have done something, the police pulled you over. And we start stripping away their fundamental rights. And that's, the, that's dangerous as a society because we in America believe we have the greatest system in the world and we do mm -hmm. when we use it correctly right but, but, when but you use at it the same time we are we are the system in America that has more people in prison and that's what happens when you use it incorrectly 
Okay. You know, okay. we have a systemic problem that most people are not going to trial. Most people are not testing the state's evidence against them. They're just saying, you know, I got the awesome power, of, let's say here, the state of Georgia against me. It's no way I can win, even though I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the purpose of a trial. The trial is to determine whether or not right. the person did right. exactly what the state says they did. Also, that we had a question about um, why are so many people taking plea deals? It, it, you hear it so often now. Uh, even in the reality shows, uh, Teresa going off doing a year, her husband going off doing eight years, people doing the five year stints, the 10 year stints, uh, even the DeKalb County CEO hey, yo, got it, released early. Yeah, 18 months, he did eight months. He and did people, eight months. People are taking plea deals again, like I, like I said, because they're afraid of the power of the state. Right. But the purpose of a trial is to search for the truth. Right. And the truth. You know, nine, t well, 50% of the time, the truth is the person didn't do it, you right. know? And so if you're waiving that right, and you're taking a plea deal because you're afraid, right. I mean, you just waive your right. You waive your right to appeal, you waive your right to a trial, you waive your right to have the citizen determine whether or not you did something. If you right. know in your heart of hearts that you didn't do it, you should go to trial. But most people are afraid. The news media makes it seem like it's such a Ooh. bad thing for people to go to trial. Right. But that's... If, if you know anything about rights, mm -hmm. Brown versus the Board of Education, mm -hmm. um, Dredd versus uh, Scott, you got, I mean, any of your cases, those were trials, okay. okay? Nothing has ever been accomplished moving this country forward with a plea. Well, let me let me ask you this about, um, oh my goodness, how do, what, what, what is the source? Because so many of us depend on, you know, local news yes. or the newspaper and things like that. How do we really know what's going on in our courts, in the in laws, what's being debated here and there? Where do we, what's the real true source? The real, real true source is in that courtroom. And I mean, I know people like to watch dramas. They mm -hmm. like to hear a story. If you ever want to get a free story, yeah. Go down to your local courthouse. Okay. There's always a great case going on. It's usually going to be funny. It's usually going to be tragic. It's yeah. usually going to be yeah. sad. I've, I've done that as a blogger. I've sat here on some it's, it's great. Cases. And then you get the full scope of what's going, what's going on. on. And it's all free. But if you can't do that, you can always, you know, there are some um, cases that are being live streamed now. The mm -hmm. media is starting to not edit anymore and let you just watch the live stream. Mm -hmm. So you can watch it. Most of them on YouTube. Type, type in uh, court cases and you'll okay. see trial after trial and you'll start to get a sense of what is really going on and as far as knowing what's going on with the bills mm -hmm. you need to read the proposed legislation and I know as an attorney even sometimes yeah. I get bored That's a lot. reading but you can get a sense of what's going on by reading it mm -hmm. and you won't be fooled anymore you can you can go to the Secretary of State's website you can go to the Georgia mm -hmm. um, Senate and the House of Representatives websites mm -hmm. and read the legislation. You can go to the governor's website and then you can start holding these politicians accountable for the rhetoric that's coming out when they're passing bills that are completely the opposite mm -hmm. of what they're telling you they're doing. And now, help me understand the, the bills, you got the law, you got we, we yeah, all know, bill we all know the school, school yeah, has rock version yeah. of it, but um, where do I need to really be applying pressure because I know that you now you've got to get in front of a judge and represent us in our community mm -hmm. based on this person that got something passed under the gold dome, exactly. based on an agenda that might not have had anything to do with it. But in order to get all of his compadres or his cohorts or his counterparts to sign off on it, somebody has slipped in a little something, something. Yeah, that's usually pork. Uh, yeah. Your pork, you know, yeah. Some type of and now it's a it. law that I got to obey or a freedom that I've given up yes. simply because I really want this up here mm -hmm. and this one line item in there has changed our life yes and i think what people need to understand is every law that's been enacted can be repealed mm. it's just understanding what in fact you really want mm -hmm. because judges can only apply the law as is written lawyers can only argue for and against the law as is written based on the facts but your, 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 your city councilmen, your state legislators, mm -hmm. and of course your congressmen are the ones that are passing the laws. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like, let's just say you don't like uh, affirmative action, or right. you don't like these entitlement programs, mm -hmm. which again, most of America's on the entitlement programs, but 
Um, if you don't like them, you have to deal with the individuals that passed them. Right. You know, and, and, and so I think that's why, you know, being politically active, understanding what is actually going on mm -hmm. inside of those state houses and, 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 yeah. and your Congress, yeah. Yeah. don't don't fall for the rhetoric that a politician, oh, I'm, I'm pro this, I'm pro right. that. Don't check their voting record. You can go down there. You can see on this day. I voted for this, this bill, which had to do with that. Mm. And here's another thing, and I mean, you know, they talk about this in the debates. Mm -hmm. You'll be amazed the number of times that a congressman was absent on a, to vote for an important bill. You will be, you will be. I've, I've been at state capitol, I'm like, okay, this is important, where are where they? Are they? And, and if you watch, even if you watch any of the feeds or the access channels or whatever, you can literally see how empty it I, is in there. And yeah. it's like, whoa, okay. But yet on the campaign trail, they're telling you, oh, I, I, was, I was on this and I was doing right. this and I did that. Listen. Are you thinking about running for office? Not at this point, because again, I'm a justice fighter. I don't want to be beholden to anybody. Okay. I want to make sure that the laws are being uh, enforced uh, fairly. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that people are know their rights. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, I don't want to be you know in a system where I can only say this. I can't say. I, I, at this right. point, I can be politically correct. Right. I can call it what it is. Okay. You know, uh, you know, you got a lot of people that. When they yeah. run for office, we, we do they start change. to see some people, and it's like, wait, the conversation has changed a little bit. I got to ask you too. We are in an election, and then of course, come November, one of the things that are on the ballot at the end of the ballot is always judges running a oh, poll. Yes, yes. Why is that? And here's the thing. Now, I, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for mm -hmm. in, the, in the presidential election. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for in any mayoral election. But I am going to tell you, you need to vote in judicial elections mm -hmm. and your elections for uh, your district attorney and your solicitor general. Those are the most important elections. Why? Because they determine what happens when you go down to the courthouse. Oh. Listen, if you are dissatisfied with the criminal justice system, that means you're dissatisfied with the set of judges that have been sitting for the last 30 years. Yes. Listen, but why are they running unopposed? Because no one thinks that you can beat an incumbent and you definitely can't beat an incumbent judge because by the time you get to the end of the ballot, people just look and say, I see the eye, let me vote for the eye. The incumbent, because yeah, you know, you've not the seen, they don't, they don't even have to bother about campaigning no. or whatever, the incumbent. Well, I was, because like, if you've been in the courtrooms, you're like, oh, I, I've been in this courtroom. Exactly. You know, but other than that, if, you, if it's not affecting you and your household, you're you like, know. just go on, go on. But it is affecting you and your yes, household. It is. If you have a member, family member that's coming in contact with the criminal justice system, yes. nine times out of ten, that judge that you voting for with the eye mm -hmm. is the one that's sent them to prison. Woo. I mean, that's just simple. Woo. What does that say? Let's see, folks. folks. Getting more information. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you know, so you need to understand that the judges are a part of that. So you need to know more about your judges. Yeah. I mean, granted, there are some great judges here in Georgia. I can name about 50. I was but at a are, networking the other night, turned the corner, and there was a judge, and, and I can't even tell you what I went through seeing that judge. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. And I was thankful because he had me change my plea, but I was yeah. like, but still, why are we so intimidated by the plea? Let's talk about that because we do vote to put these people in place. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do vote to, for the people who make the laws, but why are we so intimidated by law? I don't know, because again, America is a democracy. Mm. It's a, a country that was established by laws mm -hmm. that the people decided on. So right. any judge, any police officer, any mayor is elected. Well, the police I'm going to go close and read some of these Facebooks. Uh, go ahead. So you need to understand that you really do have the power. Now, you don't want to fight that on the side of the road. You want to fight it in a courtroom. Um, but if you're dissatisfied, mm -hmm. take that opinion to the polls. Make sure you keep notes on yeah. these judicial yeah. officials, uh, these mayors, these congressmen. Somebody who, said the reason why is because it seems outside or out of control. Somebody said Periscope was giving issues. It looks like Periscope might be fixing now. Okay. Rhonda says you can't beat someone if you don't run against them. Oh, yes, you can. You can decide to, you know, there's always a write-in. Yeah. You can write somebody in. You know, just because it's never been done that a write-in candidate hasn't won doesn't mm -hmm. mean it can't be. If Donald Trump can come from television ooh, ooh. and Thanks take, for doing the show, somebody. Yeah, you're welcome. And take the lead in the Republican race by running with anti-Republican politics. 
Someone can, can step up and assume the role. We just kind of stop being like can't. This country was founded on can. Right. When, so, the, when the founding father decided to, to break away from England, mm -hmm. people said he can't do that. Right. Well, now we're here. Well, talk about the power of social media. So even if Donald Trump gets the nomination, we can write in. We can write in wherever you want. We can get a nice campaign to write in. Okay, I might run for president. I don't know. And um, if, <laughs> if, you decide, if you decide to run, and you can put, look, the platform of social media, actually the platform of social media elected the last president. Exactly. Remember, he came, which, he came which out of I, No, which I predicted. I predicted it several years before. I said the next president is going to be the one who blocks, who's yeah. going to take take over the social media platform. But one of the questions we're asking, we don't, we're doing an Ask the Lawyer segment. It's the after scope. Um, we had our live scope, great segments, but Gerald Reese is not in court today. And so we've got him here at 6786 Broad Street. And uh, his hashtag is Justice Fighter. We're doing hashtag Ask the Lawyer. People are jumping from Facebook to Periscope. Facebook, you'll probably drop off. We'll try and keep it reset. But if you have questions, you can post them on the Periscope. And we can actually see them. He's got the Facebook yeah. one in case so he wants to look on there and uh, ask any questions. I've got questions you guys have uh, asked me and we, we talk about it all the time. Uh, the one question is why are we so intimidated by law when it's really a process that we really have the opportunity to be the most involved in in all of our lives. Let's talk about we can't get out of here without talking about the first point of contact with the law is, is us and just the basic the neighborhood police. The neighborhood police. Yeah. How is it that police, now I feel I feel like this, I leave my house every day I'm going to where that same police officer putting on the same uniform patrol in the same streets, we're operating in the same community. How is it that injustice can happen? Well, because people sit idly by and not do something about it. The same way you can hold a mayor accountable, or you can hold a, um, a city councilman accountable. You can hold the, the, the local beat officer accountable. Mm -hmm. They are they are certified by post, the Georgia Peace Officers and Standard Commission, which is actually right down the street in Austell. Wow! And you can write a complaint. Forget complaining to the local police mm -hmm. department because they're gonna cover that up. Mm -hmm. You can go down to post and file a complaint, and then the state of Georgia will look into it, mm -hmm. and they will hold people accountable if something is wrong. And that's why you have these nice phones that you can record, right. you can send a video. Right. And the first thing you hear on the news, they'll say no formal complaints. Yeah. The officer had no formal complaints. Is it because people get intimidated again by the process of yes. filing the complaint and yes. they give up? They give up because I don't want to go down there to the, to the police office and, and file right. a complaint. Okay, you don't have to go to the local police. Right. You go to the state. Okay. And of course, if you don't want to go to the state, you can go to the federal government. You can go to um, the Department of Justice that handles civil rights issues. Now, it takes a while can you for start that a investigation. Face, can you start a Facebook page? You can start a Facebook page. You can okay. start a YouTube. You can start your own Periscope to okay. talk about it. And then you can broadcast it to the world. The world is opening up. Mm -hmm. The ability to get information is mm -hmm. at a level these days that has been unheard of. And so your voice, yes, your voice, has been heard. Your right. voice will be heard. You just but have we to are, be consistent. We are seeing more and more laws. It, it, like, like we were talking about earlier, we can get back to that whole Black Lives Matter, yes. uh, that there were major protests all across the country. At the same time, uh, Congress jumped right on this. There were congressional hearings, mm -hmm. and the two did not truly intersect. Yes, some went to the White House and yes. met with the president, but the, the congressional side, the people we voted to put in office to deal with this, the two did not meet. And, and, and so and, that didn't happen. And, go ahead. Right. I, I think the, and I think the problem is, especially with, with movements like Black Lives Matter, you mm -hmm. have a certain segment of the community that doesn't know how to, you know, build coalitions with other parts of the community. If Black Lives Matter had had a bond with the NAACP or the SCLC or any of these other groups, Georgia Equality, they would have been able mm -hmm. to know when these meetings were going forth and be there. Right. So now that the Ooh, decision that's coming makers, out this world. Let me get it for you. What's that? Okay, there's an app with one click and it records and contact someone if you got stopped. Yes, okay. that is a, there's an app. I can give it to you. It's from the ACLU. It's, right. It's called, uh, and it, it records and send it directly to the ACLU. So if they destroy your phone, mm -hmm. um, it's called Georgia Justice. Okay, so let's say. by the Georgia ACLU. It's called Mobile Justice it's Georgia. It's got record, test, report, witness. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's got your rights. You can click on your rights, and it tells you what your rights are. Wow. Yeah. Social wow. media, people, the information age is here. Mm -hmm. If you have one of these in your hand, mm -hmm. you can change the, the course of this world. Right. 
have we seen, uh, because we can't tell based on the headlines and the news stories, like, you know, get a news cycle, and we'll always have these things in a news cycle, but has there been a decrease in incidents? Uh, of all kinds because of social media? I think so. I think there's become an increase of fear from law enforcement that okay. I am going to end up dealing with issues. Right. It's not going to be able to put the blue wall up anymore because with, right. a, with a hashtag, you know, you can have officers fired. All you got to do is keep sharing it. Keep sharing the video. We keep are seeing that video. more and more now. It's like people, we were putting, like even the situation where the teacher sent home the student mm -hmm. yesterday inappropriately yeah. dressed, she quit right away. Yeah, right. And, and the, the officer in the Sandra Bland case, he's been fired. So now, what what took so long with that situation? Because and even how they announced how he had been fired. I mean, he he had a formal process. I mean, they. Yes. Well, what what it takes is the power structure mm -hmm. is not used to the immediacy the information is, is able to be relayed. They're used right. to being able okay. to shut it down by killing a news story. Well, but you can't just kill that. a news story with Twitter. You can't just right. kill a news story with Facebook. You can't just kill a news story with YouTube. You can't just kill a news story with Periscope out there because now people are scoping. Exactly. People are getting the information out, and now you got smart TVs. So you don't even have to cut on the news anymore. You can cut right. on your smart television and go on YouTube and watch it over and over and over and over again. There you go. A lot of community partnerships we talk about supporting local. And if you want to support what you like here on Dryer Buzz TV, uh, we did put some sponsor information out there. We are looking for some great sponsors. We've been testing this out since about October. We know what direction we want to go. And, of course, we want to support Tulia. So we've got uh, some partnerships. We've got sponsorships. We've got title sponsors. Wait till you see what's coming next. The, and as a matter of fact, second, uh, the second week, we're also talking about moving to Saturday. So you got to let me know if you'd like to see us on Saturday because we want to really want to be live in the barbershops and the salons. That would be nice. Right. So we're thinking about, we, we're not thinking about it, we're moving uh, to Saturdays and then that way we can have a little bit more of a, a festive environment in the space because a lot, of, a lot of you guys are saying, hey, Yolanda, we'd love to come out to the, um, to the space and we really want you to enjoy this space. This is a beautiful space. I know you guys only see it on the little box, but we try to give you a tour about it too. Uh, Attorney Griggs, when we, when we have got access to some great people, we try to keep him. He's still here. We're doing an Ask a Lawyer segment, so you're going to see some of these segments. Uh, we're going to continuously to drop them. want to talk about rights. We hear about our rights all the time. There are some basic rights that we should know. Uh, first point of contact being, meaning you just got pulled over. You just got stopped. Uh, now, you can get pulled over on the sidewalk. Any kind of, that any time, let's just say, a policeman wants to ask you a question. You know, you haven't done anything, but they, can I talk to you for a minute? No. And I mean, it's just that simple. And, and I, was, that simple? I was asked this, you know, and people say, well, you, you're being rude to the police officer. No, I'm not. I'm enforcing my Fourth Amendment right. You wow. know, a police officer, yes, they can have a voluntary conversation with you if you voluntarily submit to the conversation. And again, if he's stopping you to ask you questions, you know, he's investigating something. Now, you can give him your driver's license or your identification, but anything Whoa. short of that, that's it. No. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. If he asks you anything, he's investigating he's something. Investigating. Why else would he stop you? He's wow. stopping you to do an investigatory search. Mm -hmm. That's a search. You're being stopped. He's gathering evidence against you. You know, and I know people are saying, well, I'm not doing anything wrong. So, again, you're not doing anything wrong, but again... He is trying to take away one of your rights. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk about the the, the house fire that it, we keep seeing in news. The very first news report of the when that house fire, mm -hmm. everybody was like, "Ooh, something's not right with that case." Mm -hmm. And you know, you hear the news use the the language of uh, foul play. play the first they said no foul play suspected. We like, uh huh. That house burned too fast. Mm -hmm. The 911, we pulled all this out in the social media conversation. No, mm -hmm. you know, the neighbor called and said four people were still in the house, meaning that he didn't see the father outside trying to get in the house. Mm -hmm. And now it's come back to, okay, they reinvestigated. Something is, there is some, maybe some foul play. Mm -hmm. There may have been this, that, and the other. But everybody who, who's watched CSI and all that other kind of stuff, we went right to it. You know, yeah. it was like, oh, this is it. When you. Well, you because you 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 represent some people that might need some defense. Let's just say true, that. right? Some people, yeah. In a case like that, and it's always that person who they get in front of. Okay, get in front of the news camera. Yes or no? No, 
Not without your attorney. I mean, if you... Even We're if, talking about news camera, not even prosecution. Get in front of the news camera, yes or no? No. Because at the end of the day, it's an investigation, like that suspicious fire. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the father had of just maintained that he didn't know anything about this and he didn't have anything to say except for he was grieving, you know, it probably would have gone it'll, a it'll different way. But he wanted away. to become a superstar in front of Ooh. the TV camera. And, and ladies and gentlemen, nine times out of ten, people that are spending substantial amount of time in prison is because of what they said. Right. Because a lot of times the judge... You have I know right to now. remain silent. Yes. Use it. Yes. And the judges will tell you that oftentimes the real evidence is because what the person gave you. What the person said. What the person the said. The confession, the admission, Ooh. any statement you make. And nine times out of ten, it's statements to the press that you made. Because, I, I'll be honest, reporters know how to ask questions exactly. that most prosecutors don't know how to ask. And so if you're not seasoned in how to deal with the media, and you don't are, need to be in are. the media because right. it's a white hot light. Mm -hmm. You can incriminate yourself very quickly mm -hmm. and it doesn't ever go away. Do you give your clients media training? I do. Okay. You know, for the most part, I tell them we don't need to be making statements. Right. But if you really feel the need, we're going to make sure you understand what you're saying and it comes across the way that you want to say right. it. We, we got to go back and talk about social media because we cannot stress the fact that your social media will indict you first. Quickly. We've got to talk about that. And because I'm, the, let me tell you, you guys know I've been blogging for 14 years. Uh, 30 years I've been trying to close the digital divide. And even today, I'm still shocked at some of the things I see, I hear people say, I see people say, God driving on, driving in Periscope and got his location on, and he smoking weed. And I'm like, yeah. really? People, Periscope, YouTube, Instagram, it's like giving a right. press conference. Right. Right. Don't do anything that you don't want the whole world to see you doing because the whole world is seeing you doing it. Right. And somebody says, uh, Rhonda says, not to mention you don't think about what you say to the media being fully accessible and usable against you. And, you, you, and just being talked about, you just talked about having a case and, and trying to keep evidence out. Yes. How does that work? Well, I mean, it works on how the evidence is gathered. And mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if the police are not the ones gathering it, then it's, it's, it could come in, you okay. know, because they're saying it's a voluntary statement. Anything on Facebook or Instagram right. or Periscope, that's a voluntary statement that right. does has nothing to do with law enforcement. More and more, are you finding that you have to um, try to keep the social media out of it? Yeah, I would say, look, if you don't want to put it on a billboard, mm -hmm. don't put it on the Internet. Right. I, I know one heartbreaking thing I've seen is a, a parent lost a child, and now the, all they have literally is that child's uh, Facebook page yes. and the pictures. And so, you know, on Facebook now, it, it, anniversaries are different things. Stuff, yeah. It comes up. Your, your page literally becomes your obituary. Yeah. But the, the pictures that the child had on mm -hmm. there were not good. Yeah. They were not good. So now as a parent, you've lost this child, and... They got these crazy yeah. pictures out there, you know. And as parents, you really have to monitor your kids' mm -hmm. uh, social media usage. Um, you know, and I know you know, my mom still says social media is the devil. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't honestly believe that. Uh, but you need to understand, yeah. anything they put out there is open for the world. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it either. The, mm -hmm. the world to Repost see. Repost your comment. And, um, you know, it's not like it was when I was in high school, you right. know. The kids are posting school fights, and the school fights are turning into felonies. You know, people are, are posting, right. you know, they're bringing guns to school, which I don't understand why you need a gun in school anyway. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they're bringing guns to school, they're getting kicked out of school, and mm -hmm. next thing you know, they're convicted felons. But you need to understand that, look, right. if you weren't going to call a press conference and invite CNN and Fox News and everybody else there, then don't post it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Don't post it on Instagram. Right. Don't Even if you got a private account, okay, let's say that you go in and Nothing's represent. private. But, but you say you represent a client, and they've got, you know, the private Instagram, private. Can you get that open and access? Oh, you get that. The FBI can get it. The GBI can get it. They're trying to unlock the, the, the terrorists' cell phone. Apple yeah. cell phone. They yeah. can get it. Wow. It's not private. Wow. Don't put it on the net. And I would even argue, don't put it in your phone. Of course. We all say, oh, we this, all know that, this, right? This is deeply personal to me. Nobody, they, this is this is a computer, right? Okay, right. this is not your best friend. This mm -hmm. can be used to send you to prison. Right. Who owns who owns what we put on the, on the internet? It internet. depends. You know, there's licenses and agreements for with all of these apps right. that they typically own 
you know, whatever media. You waived that that right. So you could say, I'm putting yes, all these pictures I saw out there, a new one but you waived the right. Day. It, it popped up. I was getting ready to use an app that I use all the time, or I was getting ready to press one of the buttons, and I saw a new line down there. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It says, by, oh, on Facebook, by going live, you agree to the terms of service. Yeah. Now, it's in, 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 incumbent of me to click that terms of service yes. link, and most of us don't. No, we don't, because we, we enjoy it so much. We believe that, you know, it's some kind of way ours. Right. It's not yours. It, it's proprietary uh, 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 data that's owned by the app or mm -hmm. the company. You waive it. To, that's why, you, you ever wonder why you click on this stuff and you got like a 15-page paragraph right. that's written by some lawyer mm -hmm. that basically mm -hmm. waiving everything. So again, if you were not going to put it outside your house right. with a big billboard that says, you know, I want everybody media. to know this, don't put it on social media. Don't put right. your Christmas gifts on social media. Don't don't advertise oh, about man. a flat we, screen. We did have we did criminals have the year. Yeah. view social media. Yeah, I remember the year uh, when everybody migrated to Facebook. That what was it, 2012? And I remember everybody posted, "I'm here, I'm there." And that particular year, even some people on the city council uh, got robbed. Yes, yeah. and I'm gonna tell you like this: This is how I usually do it. If I go on vacation, I post the pictures. After I got back. So exactly. I'm going to tell you like this. If you are on my social media and I got 5,000 friends, right. which most of them I don't really know, but I love y'all anyway. Um, mm -hmm. And you saw me in Punta Cana, mm -hmm. know that I'm at my house. You are at home. Waiting on you to come in. Right. So Because they rolled up. They rolled yeah, by. Don't, don't, they don't, rolled, don't, don't think, don't think, don't think that, that I'm not there. By and he's like, well, why is this car here? He's, he's, he's supposed to be out of the country. Yeah, he's out of, no, I'm not out of the country. <laughs> because I know <laughs> you that, you know, you got to understand, this is a window into your life. It is. So it is. if you only want to show, think about it. You think about what you dress. You mm -hmm. think about how you how you get your hair done. Right. So you can be have a certain perception to the world. Mm -hmm. Your Facebook is the same thing. Right. Let's, I got a couple of questions about entrepreneurs. A lot of people are uh, built, you know, got a product service. People yes. are selling in and everything today. Let's let's answer some questions about the Uber driver. We talked about Uber drivers. Yes. I mean, Uber is an app that has solved the global transportation problem. But um, what are some of the things that liabilities that that Uber drivers? Well, I don't. What, okay, we got to say Uber Lyft drivers. What are some of the liabilities that they are taking on that they may not know about? Well, we'll call them uh, personal escorts. Yeah. It's different, yeah. different apps for it. you got to understand something. Your insurance is the insurance. You, you don't have a common carrier insurance like taxi cab drivers right. or anything like that. So if you have an accident with one of these personal care apps, mm -hmm. you're liable. So you right. need to think about your the fact that your insurance company could be the one that's putting the bill and then ultimately you. So you got to think about these things when you're starting these businesses. There are costs to mm -hmm. do business. There are reason why taxi cab drivers have license. They have personal uh, right. carrier insurance that covers them. You know, it's a professional endeavor, and so you have to treat it as much. I know it seems like, oh, it's quick, easy money. No such thing as quick and easy money. Right. You know, there's liability in any quick and easy scheme. Yeah. So they need to they need to think about that. And there and there are times that they are out there. They're having those kind of acts. They have an accident. So we've seen people. Just get out, like even the movie, get out of the car and go on and let the Uber driver deal with that. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, have we seen cases? Uh, oh, we're gonna talk about the, hoop, uh, the hoverboards. All the, oh, yeah. What are what are some of the new cases where the lives that we now live has kind of changed the courtroom? Well, I mean, What's really it, impacting the courtroom? courtroom is changing every single day because the courtroom still hasn't mm -hmm. fully embraced social media. Mm -hmm. So we we've had a few um, cases of personal care apps mm -hmm. um you know with liability but they haven't reached the level of making new law yet so mm -hmm. you got to think about it. you you're in a, a new new so the arena. cases that are in there are kind of setting the precedent to, to exactly form. like we see a lot of people they uh making we got an entrepreneur that makes the soaps we got people who making homemade shampoos and all these kind of things uh i mean like i said people are selling everything what are some the, of the liabilities you got to think about tort liability which tort means Personal injury liability. Personal injury. Let's say you're making your own your shampoo or soap, and yeah. somebody gets gets horrifically burned, and you know uh, there's some type of chemical reaction. Right. You're liable for that. Right. And if you're not an LLC, meaning a limited liability corporation or some type of corporation, Entrepreneurs you're here personally there. liable. That means your house, your car, wow. your savings, all of that can be wiped wow. out just that fast. 
So you yeah. need to make contact with an attorney so you can make sure that your corporation is established with the Secretary of State, that you have appropriate insurance coverage for mm -hmm. any type of liability that you may ensue, you know, in, in, in uh, and, and you gotta think about these things. There's a Facebook request for you to delete some of those friends you don't know so that new people can follow you. Well, I do have <laughs> a, a public figure page, which is uh, Gerald Griggs, activist, uh, attorney, uh, and I have my business page, which is always open, so you can go to that page, uh, and I, 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 that's unlimited. Uh, but I don't know who to delete because, again, <laughs> I love everybody. So I would, I would love for more people. Again, that's why I said go to the hashtag Justice Fighter, and you will find me on all social media, and you can follow me that way. Right. Now, when we see, uh, and we're going to get ready to get out here, one, one other question people want to know is what does it mean to have an attorney on retainer uh, always available to you yes. and assessing the key. What does that mean? Okay. And then when we see justice fighters and, and we see, you know, you guys go to this city or behind, there's a joke that Bill uh, Bill Burr has about African Americans pulling out the podium. You know, <laughs> like we, we, yeah, we're we the quickest to pull out a some, podium some, and get, some, get an apology. Yeah, some, some people are quick to do that. But uh, what, is it, what it means to have an attorney on retain, that means you have retained that attorney's services for whatever needs you guys have contracted okay. for. And some attorneys have personal clients. Like, mm -hmm. I have a few who just pay me either a one-time fee, and I bill out of that until it's used up, or they okay. pay me monthly so that, you know, something happens at, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning, they can call me, I can give my legal advice, or right. we can get prepared to file a case, or I'll be ready to defend a case. And I believe, and, and think about people, that's what insurance is. So it's Insurance the is... The payment of the retention of the attorney, so if something catastrophic happens, the insurance company can hire an attorney to defend you liability. Your liability. But at that point, you don't know what attorney right. that they're gonna they're gonna hire for you. Well, if you can get in contact with an attorney who will take you on a retention agreement, you know that you can call Mr. Griggs, you can call Johnny Cochran, you can call all these great lawyers. You can't call Johnny anymore, but you can call his firm. You can call his firm. Started in Atlanta, right? And, and uh, great lawyers there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, some of the best in the business. Uh, and and this, the second question was what? What was what was my what was my second question? I forgot because I when I, I got the Johnny Cochran question yeah, yeah. for you. <laughs> Johnny's great. Hopefully one day I'll be able to be half the attorney he, he was. Right. Um, but you know you need to understand that you do need to personally know an attorney just in case something okay. happens. And I'm I'm gonna say this: there are a lot of attorneys that advertise on TV. Mm -hmm. I've seen none of them in court. Okay, if you haven't seen an really? attorney, none of them. If you haven't personally seen an attorney in court, in court. or see his cases covered in on court. TV, okay. you need to wonder. I okay. mean, I know I hear them saying they're legends in the law. Right. The only legends in the law I know are practicing attorneys. I know Thurgood Marshall was a legend, Brown versus the Board what, of what Education. Makes, what makes a legend? A legend in the law is you can think of cases, great cases that you saw this attorney okay. handling. Right. You know, is there a catastrophic, uh, catastrophic car accident? Right. And you saw that case go to trial. You saw the attorney handle it. That's mm -hmm. a legend. Right. In the law. One of the reasons we have him on on scope is because he's a legend. We've seen him. In well, no, I'm not a legend yet. We've, you know, we've seen I'm, you. I'm, I'm, well I'm, I'm working on that. I, well I would consider right. myself like a Steph Curry of the law. I'm just now getting my shot right. <laughs> you know, I'm not Michael Jordan. Uh, awesome. So, you know, but I just need for everybody to understand. Right. And you should have access to an attorney. Right. First it, right. What's what's the first right that we should know? Oh, first right. You got the right. To uh, remain silent. What you does that mean? To, you don't what have, is, to, you don't have to literally mean? It literally means Be police quiet. officer comes up to you, starts investigating a case, asks you to say something. You say, I want to remain silent. Handing them your ID does not imply you having to say something. You just hand them the ID. Okay? Wait, okay, you said, say to them, I want to remain silent. You don't have to say that. You don't need to say anything. Because we, now, let's go back to social media because we do see people going around trying to enact these things. And, and we see the video. Say, for instance, there was a guy who uh, apparently was peering across the border, I guess the Mexican border, whatever. Yeah. And he seemed to, he pulled up to the stop. He was kind of aggressive with it. Aggressive. You know, as soon as the guy walked up and he would say, Are you, the guy was trying to ask me, he was, Am I being detained? He was like, Oh, you, are you a citizen? He, yeah. And then he was like, okay, well, you need to just go ahead and pull over because he didn't want to answer the question. Yeah, but, he wanted to make this great YouTube video. Yeah, but, but see, people, you got to understand something. Law enforcement officers are human beings as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know we have certain rights. You know, I tell the rights, but you don't right. have to be 
is aggressive. pleasant with somebody or aggressive. Mm. At that point, you're creating a situation. Mm. You need to, if the, the police officer asks you for your identification, right. just give me your identification. If he asks anything else, respectfully, sir, I don't want to answer any more questions, or just be quiet. That's not, okay. that's not obstruction. That's not being argumentative. That's not being combative. Mm -hmm. That's just merely enforcing your rights. Mm -hmm. You get stopped. You got warrants. What do you do? You, you know they're going to go to the car and they're going to come you back. You're going to jail. So at that point, just sit quietly. He asks you out the car. Get out the car. He puts the handcuffs on you. Right. You go to jail. You call your attorney. He gets you out. Okay, but and here's the thing, too. In Georgia, you get stopped. You don't know you got warrants. Most people don't know they got warrants. Most people, why is it that most people don't know they got warrants? Because how many times have you heard of a warrant being sought in public? It's usually secret, a secret warrant. Police officer goes to the magistrate, gets the warrant. Nobody knows they got warrants. Right. But so how, like, why, who do we get to fight? Them? Why is it a Georgia thing that everybody... It's not just a Georgia thing. This is a, this is a, this is a criminal justice thing. Okay. And if there's an issue with that, we need real criminal justice reform. And I know there are some candidates running in the presidential election about that, but let's get serious about that. If we want everything to be transparent, that means a law enforcement officer can never go to a, a magistrate and get a one-sided warrant. Are that we, needs to be are a we hearing. Are we tying their hands oh, with what's going on in, in, in social media? Uh, and I know you talked about it earlier about you know police now have a, a, some modicum of fear uh, because of how a situation can go go wrong so fast and they can be looked at and it's going to cost them yeah. their career. Is there a real fear out there among Yeah, some of, them, some of them do have that fear. I mean, I've mm -hmm. talked to many of them. i talked to the police unions and, and uh, people. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to know something. Mr. Griggs has never been anti-police. Mm -hmm. I represent some clients that have some interesting mm -hmm. positions and I respect those positions. Mm -hmm. But I respect the criminal justice system. We have to figure out a better way for mm. us to interact with law enforcement and the yeah. community, and yeah. that's a conversation yeah. that really needs to be had because all law enforcement officers are not bad, and all people that are stopped by law enforcement are not bad. We're all American citizens. How did we, how did we get to it being us and us in a them situation? Because these are people from our community well, that are put some, on this justice. Some of them are people from our some community, of, and some okay. of them are people from other communities that have come in with preconceived notions Okay. of that community and that's the problem that's we have an over policing in certain communities yeah. now mm -hmm. if we had the problems that may go on in bankhead mm -hmm. with stops and profiling going on in buckhead or roswell mm -hmm. this would have come to a head a long time ago like this heroin supposed heroin, heroin crisis. yeah there's no heroin crisis there's heroin that's been in the black community and the brown community for for decades right but, 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 but see, with those cases, you don't get sensitivity under the gold, don't No, you don't. Right. But when you got, you know, somebody that's OD'd, a high school student that's OD'd out of mm -hmm. Roswell, oh, mm -hmm. now it's a pandemic. Right. It's not a Ooh. pandemic. We need to really address drug addiction across all spectrums of the community. Mm -hmm. And let's not just make it a black or brown issue. Right. So, I mean, th that's the issue. We got over-policing in certain segments of the community mm -hmm. and it's caused the, in the encounters with police to become fearful mm -hmm. you know when you don't cut on the news and see every other week uh, a white person shot to death in a routine traffic stop and that's another question i got and you can take this to the police officer standards and training and i'll take it to police why are we not trained to shoot center mass yes why yeah. Why can't you shoot somebody in the arm, the leg, something that disables them but doesn't kill them? Mm. Because if I don't have a weapon, mm. I'm sorry. You have training. You have verbal judo. You have uh, all kinds of uh, uh, mm. police tactics to learn. Mm. That's your job. You don't need to shoot somebody center mass and then say, oh, well, I felt threatened. That's never an excuse. Wow. And I think that's the problem that a lot of people in the community have. But on the other side, for law enforcement, yes, some of them are afraid too. I mean, really, they are. Because there are things that are occurring to law enforcement that you wouldn't understand. You know, you put on the badge and you got to look over your shoulder every single day. Somebody might be trying to hurt you. So we got to sit down and have this conversation. And when we have this conversation, everybody in the community needs to have the conversation. Right. You know, we had a meeting in, in March mm -hmm. where all of law enforcement in Georgia was represented. Mm -hmm. Ask me how many community members were there. Exactly. That's the question. How many? About 15. See, that's and we advertised we it across all media. Yeah. Yeah. So if we really have problems, we're going to have another one. Yeah. 
where law enforcement really wants to have this conversation. I'm telling they you. They do. Know. They do. They do. And we, we just had a conversation. I posted a blog post. you got to get the topics out of the way for the doers yes. to get, thing, get things done. This was an Ask a Lawyer segment. I'm telling you. Okay, five things. Do, don't, do, don't, do. Give us those. Know your rights. Mm -hmm. Don't incriminate yourself with what you say. Make sure you stay legal in all the business endeavors that you do. You need to know the right laws, the right regulations, the right uh, uh, insurance to have. Uh, um, um, four, you need to really, what's this? Amy Wait a minute. Areas. I get it. Aiming for areas outside of the torso of the Hollywood myth. No, it's not a Hollywood myth. I've actually taken some of the training. I mean, there was a guy who was wielding a machete in England that they shot in the leg. Drop exactly. the, drop the knife and they, they handcuffed him. Or you can hit him with that and stone. All these are on YouTube. So I'm sorry. The comparisons shoot, are shoot there. Shoot center mass, you mm -hmm. know, just because that's the biggest part of the body, that's mm -hmm. also how you kill. I'm sorry. You're law enforcement. You're not trained killers. Right, okay. Right. Your job is to protect and serve, not kill. Right. Okay. Okay, wait. We we're getting the do's and don'ts, but Facebook, you guys are gonna drop. Periscope is still going and got questions. And of course, it looks like we're gonna keep going. So okay. Facebook, you might drop. Jump over to Periscope. The, the fifth thing is to make sure that in all things you are empowered and know your rights. Know what bills are being passed. Be active in your community with these panels, with the, with the, the town halls, yes. uh, with the, uh, the um, city council, and of course going down to the Gold Dome and finding out what's really going on and mm -hmm. not some presser or some sound bites from your elected officials. Right. And do, do attorneys have any, any, any power, influence? I know you guys have number of associations. Uh, any power influence on helping the president nominate for the Supreme Court? Yeah, we do. I mean, you know, people, you got to understand something. Most of your politicians are attorneys. Mm -hmm. Okay, most, 75% uh, of your presidents were attorneys. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have a lot of influence. Uh, with regard to the Supreme Court nomination, I'm oh. sorry, Republicans, this is the issue. It's mandated by our Constitution that the president has the power to appoint. If you don't like who the president is, you vote him out. But you don't become obstructionist in our democracy simply because you don't like the president. You know, for a long time, the Democrats didn't like George W. Bush. You know, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. You know, they didn't like all the Bushes. Right. And now we're in a situation where you don't like President Obama. There was a time the Republicans didn't like the Bush. You, you, don't like, you don't like President Obama. And I'm sorry, if Donald Trump is elected, I'm going to have a problem with that. You know, so, but that he's doesn't He's an attorney mean, as well? No, he's not an he's attorney. He's not an attorney, okay. I, I, That's what's missing. You know. That is what's missing from Donald Trump, you know, okay. And, and what, not an attorney, not a politician. Yeah, he, he's, yeah. He's, okay. he's a businessman. He's a businessman. Okay, okay. and he, he says he's a successful businessman. And We haven't seen that. Okay, you know, okay. I mean, that, that's something for him to answer. Yeah. And, and I promise you, <laughs> if he gets this, this, this video and he comes after me, I'm an attorney. I'm a trained <laughs> arguer. You don't want that. Okay, so, um, but what we have to understand is this is a country of laws, mm -hmm. and we have to follow those laws, whether we like them or not. If you don't like them, vote, you know, vote to get them changed or go down and make sure they get changed. But we have to follow these laws, and that's what I'm saying. Those, those five things all come back to obey the law. If you a don't lot, like the a law, lot of things change the are law. missing about Trump. How do you, how do you, how do you, you as well as all attorneys, how do y'all stay abreast of everything that, that changed the law? Oh, uh, we read the, we read the advance sheets. Okay. You know, you know, I mean, most lawyers went to school, you know, whether undergrad, in political science, uh, you know, some type of, um, you know, civics background. Mm -hmm. Some lawyers aren't, but some of them are technical. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you, you know, it. it's become part of you, you know, and, and you know what's real and what's not real. Right. And so, you right. know, we take different positions on who we represent. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we represent the Constitution. We are, and this is the crazy thing about it, the only real law enforcement officers in this country are lawyers. Right. How do you represent somebody that's guilty? Um, well, guilt is determined by 12 people. So, See? I mean, Wait. I don't represent anybody that's guilty. <laughs> I represent somebody that's accused. So I don't, I don't know how to represent a guilty person. Now, I've represented some people that have been found guilty, but okay. I've never represented a guilty person. Okay. So how, what is that conversation like when somebody's coming in, they're really in some hot water, okay. and they're innocent until proven guilty, okay. but, you know, it's, there's a lot of evidence against them, I guess I should say. How do you, how do you attack, attack that kind of case? Very easily. I mean, again, it could be a lot of smoke, but no fire. 
And see, I, know? I, and I noticed you, you and, and Precious, you, you guys met Miss uh, Precious Felder. Uh, she's in the scope before she was here with us. She probably like, Dad, I should have stayed and talked with her some more. But, uh, and I noticed both of you have a level of confidence uh, in that argument. It's mm -hmm. like that whole innocent and proven guilty thing. Is, is, is it? That's is, a bad That's a talk. That's is that the talk bad, or? Like, first off, it's not talk. Once, okay. you, once you've experienced the system and you see how innocent people are railroaded okay. sometimes, and okay. that's not all the time, people, that's just sometimes. Right. I don't have anything to do with that. Okay. But you start to honestly believe what the four founders intended for this country. It's so wow. easy for an innocent person to be railroaded if you because if it's all you, about the story. Yeah, if you do away, no, it's all about the power, the awesome power of the state. Oh, you know, think about it. You got police officers, you got GBI officers, you got crime labs, you got you got trained uh, prosecutors, you got all this stuff against one person, mm -hmm. and the only thing that person has is the law. Right. So you have to embrace that law, and I know a lot of people say, "Well, man, this is real." I know because you represent a lot of guilty people. No, I don't. I represent innocent people charged with crime. Mm. And if you were on the other side of that, you would want me to feel the same way about you. And like I said, I've run into a lot of people mm -hmm. in prison mm -hmm. that are innocent so of in, what they've been convicted of. So in looking for an attorney, you want them to have that kind of that kind of power and passion oh, yes. behind everybody is innocent. Until proven guilty. Innocent. Because innocent. if you don't get a, if you don't get an Is attorney, it always a jury of twelve? Yeah, well no. State court um, for misdemeanors a jury of six. But if you get an attorney that when the first thing you ask them, can you take my case? And the next thing they say, we need to take a plea. You need to go down the street because they need mm -hmm. to honestly believe in your struggle so they can defend you with everything uh, that's within them because that's right. what it's going to take to take on this system. Mm -hmm. You know, if y'all watch the people versus uh, OJ Simpson, yeah. did you see the dichotomy between one lawyer, right. I'm not going to name that lawyer, okay. and Johnny Cochran? Right. One lawyer was focused on what the perception of me is going to be from my peers. Okay. The other lawyer was concerned about what the perception is with my client. Only, only, okay. person, only person I care about when I represent somebody is my client. Because that's the person I owe the duty to. I don't care what my perception in the public is because at the end of the day, my perception is going to be that man the fighter. And you and you have to deal with you've had to deal with your perception in in the public because because yeah, I've been the, new, the news has been in several in the courtroom with you several times okay, several times how how do they decide on cases I don't know I haven't quite figured that out do you feel like they just follow you sometimes they do because I mean some of my cases aren't news how do they how do they know when you're on the case I don't I, well they you know you file you it? file an entry. Mm -hmm. And that's public record. So, you know, okay. in certain counties, you can go online and, they're like, and just type in. Got send yeah. somebody yeah. To the you can just type in the person's name, mm -hmm. and then it pulls up the cases, and you can wow. go see the schedule. But, you know, I... I do, you, do you find that you've been able to use that to your advantage? Oh, yes, because, okay. you know, people know I try cases. You know, okay. I, I go to try. I'm a trial attorney. You okay. know, if I take a case, I fully expect that that case is going to end with a verdict of not guilty. Somebody wanted to know the jury still. I'm gonna hit. Let me hit uh, save. Make sure we don't lose this. Somebody wanted to know about uh, one of the things we do see and get got a chance to see live in the, in the OJ case and now in the portrayal of this television show. Jury process. Oh, okay. um, jury, because, jury selection. Yeah, jury selection and, and encouraging people to serve to go to jury duty. But uh, what what's some of the key factors you look for in the jury? Because a lot of people get thrown off. By in those questions and, and could have just said a little something different and ended yeah. up on the case. Well, here's what you need to know about jury selection. It's okay. not this jury selection. This is a jury selection uh, scope, it's, it's not jury selection. It's actually jury deselection. Oh. So we're trying to find out the people who cannot be fair and impartial to our client. Okay. Okay, so a lot of the questions are to determine whether or not you already prejudged the case. Right. You know, and a lot of people need to understand something. If you have a problem with the criminal justice system, you should be involved in the process of, the ju of jury deliberation. Don't come in there and say, my cousin got convicted 10 years ago, so I can't be fair. This is not your cousin's case, okay? This is another <laughs> case that's separate and apart from your cousin. And the fact that you feel that way about how your cousin was treated means you can be more fair to both sides. So, but how, and wait, before we do, I'm going to ask, how do, you, how do you represent that? How do you... Turn it to I try, I try to get them to understand, you know, this person is charged with a serious right. offense, and you would want somebody to be as conscientious as you were in your cousin's case, right. in their case. Now, most of them, nah, I still can't be fair. And, and so, you got to understand something. Mm -hmm. 
This is the most fundamental right we have as American yeah. citizens. People always say, go vote. I love voting. It's great. But your vote does not count equally when you vote in, a, in an election. When you're on a jury, your vote counts because that one vote can shut down the whole process. Yes. Invite your followers, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll keep going as long as we see some hearts and invite your followers. This is an after scope. Yeah. So please invite your followers. You know you got somebody that needs to ask the lawyer. Uh, you're getting the best advice. I don't want to tell you what his hourly rate is, so you better ask the question right now on Periscope. Yeah, because it's, it's free on Periscope. Right. You come, you come to me if it's not a phone call, it's not free. Woo! And, and, and we've what, seen him take some calls yeah. uh, off scope. And what you need to you need to understand, mm -hmm. this information you get right now, you're not going to find it anywhere, anywhere else because, you know, certain things have been put in place to limit people from knowing their rights. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If you could take time out to speak to an attorney and them tell you these things, you could get a better understanding of how the country works. I'm not. I'm not an attorney. He's an attorney right here. Somebody said he could be my attorney all day. Yeah, I don't want her. No, I don't no, want her I'm, to just, I'm just a blogger. The, the illegal practice of law. That's another felony. Yeah, uh, I'm just a blogger. Disclaimer: I am just a blogger. Yeah. Uh, I invited uh, attorney Gerald R. Gerald A. Griggs. G Gerald A. Griggs. He is the one you want to call. And again, you can find me on, on all social media. And if you can't find me on social media, just type in my name in Google. There You'll you find go. it. And, and that's go. another reason Ooh. why you should do background mm -hmm. on whatever attorney you hire. Right. If your attorney does not have a case trail mm -hmm. on Google, mm -hmm. and I'm not just talking about his website. I'm talking about when you continue to go down into that timeline. Right. Right. You should wonder because... Again, your work speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. If you truly are a trial lawyer, you're mm -hmm. going to have a slew of trials. Right. If you really are a justice fighter, you're going to have a slew of justices, justice achieved. Okay. You know, and, and I just I just want to get this message out to the general public so that one day maybe I don't have to try any more cases. One of the things that, that again, I wanted to go back to is when we see trials, it's usually the city, is the city, the state, and... Uh, versus that person, yeah. but we do see that the family or the victim does have an attorney, and oftentimes we'll see the trial say, okay, not guilty, but then there's a civil, yeah, civil or, or there are other or settlement. Yeah. Like say, for instance, in, in a lot of the Black Lives cases, uh, we well we didn't see quote unquote justice. There still were some settlements that came behind. Yeah, them, because right? you, you got you got the criminal bar a burden, mm -hmm. and you got a civil burden, which is a lot lower. Okay. You know, to prove somebody guilty of a crime is proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. To find somebody civilly liable is just, you know, a preponderance of the evidence of 51 to 49. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Thank you so much for typing you. that. Um, so you just need to understand that, you know, sometimes you might not be able to achieve justice, right, yeah. you know, by having a criminal conviction. Right. But if you sue somebody civilly, you may be able to get a settlement or a verdict, you know, that finds them liable. Mm -hmm. And that's some semblance of justice. But again, we can't bring the life back. Right. So, I mean, it's our hope, you know, as attorneys, um, that we can give some mm -hmm. families closure. Mm -hmm. How how uh, how much do the attorneys get out of those settlements? Typically, uh, between 33% to 40% of whatever the, the wow. uh, recovery wow. was. Tell but but I would say this, mm -hmm. uh, you know, 40% of something is it's better than, you know, 100% of nothing. Right. You know, well, let's talk about it. Uh, sometimes we do see attorneys do pro bono cases. And yes. you guys do get involved. And we are required to do pro bono cases. You're required really? to do at least 12 hours a year. And I've done right. way more than 12 hours. Right. Uh, but, you know, because again, if you, and I tell young attorneys this, and older attorneys tell me this, if you got into this business, and I know y'all, a lot of y'all gonna say, okay, he's an attorney, so he, you know, but if you got into this business only to make money, you got in this business for the wrong reason. Mm. Okay. Mm. If you got in this business to help people, yes, you will make some money, but you will also make the community better than what you right. found it. Yes. You know, yes. most of your great attorneys, you know, Abraham Lincoln, uh, uh, mm. you know, Clarence Darrow, Johnny mm. Cochran, you know, these, these giant Thurgood Marshall, mm. they didn't get into this to make a whole lot of money. Now, some of them did. But what they did was they wanted to make a change. President Obama, mm. you know, and, and Michelle Obama, right. uh, both lawyers, uh, you know, they, they wanted to move something forward in a way that changes the world and the country for years to come. That's what an attorney is supposed to do. And that's why they're supposed to give back. 
So if you are an attorney and you want to be an attorney just to make a lot of money, go to another profession. You know, because we don't need that in the bar. And we do, we do see that people go off into corporate and all those other kind of things. Yeah, we see that and more power to them. But at the end of the night, you know, at the end of your life, nobody's going to remember how much money you made. Mm -hmm. They're going to remember how much you helped that next person. Mm -hmm. All right. So how do you, how do you feel? You think you've, you think you've uh, left the community a little bit better informed? No, I'm you? just getting started. I'm mm -hmm. just getting started. I, you know, I've, I've been blessed enough. How, how long have you been at this? 11 years. Wow. You know, I've been blessed enough to handle the anti-bullying case here mm -hmm. that changed the law. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I've been blessed enough to be in part of APS and, you know, have a number of high profile cases. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm just getting started. You know, and my thing is I, I need to make sure that my little girl uh, finds a community that's brought together right. uh, when I'm gone and not one that's torn apart. Right. Lastly, go back to the TMZ, the knife found on the on the OJ Simpson. We don't call it the OJ knife, okay. but the knife found on the OJ property. And those of you that didn't know, you can check your TMZ, your timeline. It's probably already out there. We already know it's, double, it's what they call double jeopardy. Oh, yeah. Even if OJ's fingerprints, blood, everything is on this knife. I'll put it to you this way. That case is over. That, that case, case ended done. in, what, 94? Mm -hmm. I was still in... Uh, in the 10th grade or 9th mm -hmm. grade at that point, that case is over. We're not mm -hmm. relitigating that case. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I feel sorry for the, uh, the, the, the Goldman and, and Simpson family. Uh, and I know Johnny would probably say the same thing, but the case is over. OJ was found not guilty. Mm -hmm. That's the verdict. That's the truth of the case. That's what verdict stands for. Truth of the case or veritas mm -hmm. is to seek the truth. That case, 12 citizens from the community said, that Orenthal James Simpson was not guilty of killing uh, Mr. Goldman and his ex-wife. Mm. Okay, now, the fact that he got convicted of the uh, the uh, robbery, he served in prison time for that, and you know, that's a whole nother what's case. His, what's his sentence in that? I want to say it was like 20, 20, 30 years, something Ooh. like that. Uh, you know, so, you know, it's great to watch the case again and, and see it you get to see the inner workings of how mm -hmm. the practice of law works by the interaction of the lawyers and mm -hmm. believe me it, it, if y'all can see the inner workings of this thing you see law a completely different way are there any current cases that could that should probably be as big as the oj case yeah, Bill, that was the Bill case Duffy. okay and yeah, we we actually uh talked with attorney felder yeah. uh about that when uh bill Cosby selected his new attorney what what's Okay, here's the argument in social media. Because mm -hmm. uh, every time, you know, something is in, in Bill Cosby's favor, everybody jumps on social media, oh, so y'all want him guilty. What people don't understand is he's just chipping away at the bigger case. He, yeah. Something gets thrown in, something gets thrown out. Yeah. But there's still the overwhelming case of he, well, you'd probably say he's still innocent. Over, I don't know if it's overwhelming, but, you know, there's a case. There, there is a case, but the actual case is what? Because we're confused. Well, he, the he, actual case against him is what? Is that he allegedly drugged and raped at least 12 women, but I think the case that's currently pending is just one woman that he's been criminally charged with, and he's had a, okay. a couple civil cases uh, that and are starting to be thrown out. And it's civil cases that are being know? thrown out, yeah. but the criminal is still going. It's still going. Okay, I'm just saying, because y'all be jumping in for timelines. But here's the issue with all that. Uh oh Okay? Uh-oh. Everything that's going on in social media mm -hmm. is not coming into that courtroom. And, and that's the part and, that and drives Bill, you crazy. And Bill Cosby has an exceptional lawyer. I mean, she is exceptional. Wow. And there's a reason why these, these civil cases are starting to go away. And I mean, exceptional you know, lawyer. You I know put this. it to you this way. Wow. She trained one of the best lawyers I know. I haven't personally Ooh. met her yet, but I've met the work she's done. Whoa. So, if y'all think... Again? I've forgotten the name. Wait, we got to get her name. Somebody, okay. Rhonda, I know Somebody you... Somebody type in the name. Type in the Bill Cosby attorney. I know this for a fact. If y'all think that, um, that, that Johnny Cochran was good, oh, this woman right here Ooh. is exceptional. Because, I mean, I know that Bill, if Johnny was still here... Bill would have called Johnny, mm -hmm. and Johnny would have put her on the team. Mm -hmm. And so, and y'all got to realize. Where did she come from? Oh, she came from Howard University. She was a professor at Howard. Wow. Law school. Okay. Okay. She's trained some of the, the best young minds that are in the practice. Wow. You saw how she handled, uh, what, what's her name? Uh, Gloria Allred. Gloria Allred. Handled her. Handled. And Gloria Allred <laughs> is a legend. 
Right. It's a legend. When you handle a legend like that, right. and the prosecutors are not going to be legends, okay? Yeah. The prosecutors are prosecutors. You right. Know? They have cases that they have to deal with. Mm. So, I mean, I think that Bill Cosby has made the greatest decision um, of hiring counsel. Mm. Uh, I, I can't wait to see this case because I grew up on Bill. Mm -hmm. I, I think he was a wonderful image on Is television. Is this ever going to be in court? Is it going to play out on television? Or are we just going to get news? Bit I think this is gonna be live stream. I think if, if Atlanta Public Schools, if they trial, get him in a courtroom, if, it, it's if the APS go. trial was live stream, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that trial. One of the things that another stream. question that people had. Let's see, you'll become. You, he said, "You somebody said you will become a legend." Um, another thing that we uh, 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 don't let me lose my train of thought is, um, um, God, wait, I was trying to read that. Bill, wait a minute, Bill Cosby. Uh, Bill Cosby. Um, Oh my God! What was that? Oh, that's a good question. Wait a minute. Okay. Let me think about it because I, I got. I, God, what well, was I gonna say? Well, either way, um, I think it's gonna be a great trial. Mm. Um, I think it's probably gonna end in a not guilty verdict uh, because, again, you try, okay. Monique Preston, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Exceptional. Yes. Exceptional lawyer. Um, and, and I think what happens when you try cases in the media, and that's why I think the prosecution has made a grave mistake. You allow. Lawyers all over the country right. to sit back and watch and then to send emails to Miss Preston. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm watching. Oh. Wow. I would love to be in the fight, but I'm not in the fight, but that don't mean I'm not in the fight. So then she would be getting to pull together. Getting advice. Dream team she's gonna get a dream team that. and she's also getting advice. Oh, how oh, you I know what it is. A statute the statute of because well, the there's statute, so like you said, the there's so much run, being, it didn't run on this case. It was like a month case. before. Because people were like, ooh, you know, they just got to that one. But these cases have been out there. Has, has Bill Cosby had the benefit of media suppression uh in this case? Because people oh, think people no. think that, okay, first and foremost, there's a conspiracy that okay, there's this one person person or entity against Bill Cosby, and they went out and they dug all this stuff up. Mm -hmm. And then there's like, okay, well, how are they able to convince these women to, 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 to bring these charges against him and this, that, and the other? Have these cases always been out there? They probably have always been out there. And I don't think Bill Cosby had the power to suppress all media. Okay, right, because the stories have been there. Media I mean, is so big right. right now that, I mean, it's hard. You might be able to control NBC mm -hmm. or ABC or, or Fox, but right. you can control CNN and then all the bloggers you can and go, all the You can things. go back yeah. and you can see where these cases have been brought up again and yeah. again and again. It's just that not all of them are being prosecuted at the same, or at the same time. And then one of them broke. Somebody got ran out of money and somebody still got money because they got turned yeah. and all that kind Was of stuff. Was it the right? Vanity Fair article or something that brought it back the, to people? Uh, Hannibal Burris. Yes. And then and then Hannibal Burris talked about it. And then Bill Cosby and his wife sat down to do an AP yeah. interview. Now, oh, yeah, that's why they should have kept him. But no, but no, here's what they did in, in sit, sitting down to do that AP interview. Thank they you for have, giving me her website. As they have with most of their interviews, they say, here are the things that we will discuss. Yes. Here are the things that we will not discuss. The AP interviewer was like, I know you said we're not going to discuss it, but Bill, there's no way we can do this interview and not talk about it. And both of their faces went like just glassed over. He And he literally said, I think you should go talk to a superior because you're not, you know you're not supposed to ask that. And I mean, the, the best answer would have been, we're not going to discuss that. Any further questions should be no, he was to like, my, my lawyer. No, he said, he said, no, either you talk to somebody or we're not going to discuss it anymore. And I need you to go and delete this off the video. And the guy yeah, was like, I can't do yeah. that. And boom, it was on the internet. And it was like, wait a minute. And, and that is the one that took you back to what Hannibal Burris has said. And now even, uh, 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 Everybody's been watching to see if Eddie Murphy was going to say anything. Now, Eddie Murphy got this award recently mm -hmm. and because he people thought Eddie Murphy was going to throw Bill Cosby under the bus on the SNL anniversary. Uh -huh. He uh -huh. didn't. But then when he got this recent award, this Kennedy Foundation yes. or something award, he did throw Bill Cosby under the bus. And he had even said, did y'all make Bill give his, he's like, you know, y'all give me this award, but did you make Bill give his back? Well, here's, so, the, here's the problem with all that, mm -hmm. you know, and this is why they should let it play out in Ooh, I can't wait. It's because if and when Bill Cosby is or is not mm -hmm. acquitted, and I'm not saying he will or will not be, all I'm saying is it's going to play out in the courtroom. Everybody that says something negative mm. that's damaged Bill Cosby's 
reputation oh, oh, listen up, could bloggers. be liable for defamation. Oh wait, that's wait, why. Alleged, did I that's go why, out allegedly and all that? All that that's stuff? why. Whenever I deal with a case, I always go on both sides. You know, right. I honestly believe, based on my experience, that okay. you know there are issues in any sex case that's brought this late. I mean, this is real late. I mean, but I mean, but is it real late? If you still got statue, you still got time. Is it late? And that's what victims are argument, dealing with. The argument, one of the arguments Ms. Press is going to make is, if you're a true rape victim, you're going to tell the first person you see. Every day, all day. Every day, all day. And your story is not going to change. But that's not the case, though. 40 years ago. Say, can we move the, yeah, move the camera a little bit closer? Okay. Uh, yeah, so, Y'all want to come in closer? Come on. Come on. Y'all ain't gonna let us off this coast. See, this is how y'all do. Y'all... Yeah, but I mean, you know, okay. as long as it doesn't go too late. But right, you know, and and, and I think that how, how are you on time? We got to get out of here, though, y'all. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Right, we, 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 we haven't even asked the vlogger question. Not even too what you, oh, yeah, yeah. two. You think of it? We haven't even asked what kind of liabilities us bloggers got. Then you don't already you don't already heard him say that go, if this does end up in a courtroom. Everybody and, has said and, this and, and, and he said wins, that. And he wins. Somebody said, thank you. Y'all need to get some glasses. Yeah. If, if it ends up in a courtroom and he's acquitted, there's a serious defamation issue. Because everybody has convicted so him what, in a what court of that? public opinion. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. For the bloggers now, what is that line item we need to have in the blog? Alleged. Uh, facts have uh, uh, facts have been right disputed. Right. Um, because we done seen out. we done seen some bloggers get sued, and I've been blogging for fourteen years, and I, I've gotten one cease and desist, and I knew how to come back at yeah. that. But let me just tell you, yeah. say it again, alleged. alleged. Okay. Facts have been disputed. You need to always Facts. be balanced. That's why that's why yeah. news media yeah. say we're fair and balanced. They don't want to be sued. Don't want to be sued. You can't just come out here and say right. X, Y, and Z is this. Right, and have that little question mark at the end. Yeah, you need you need to make sure it's fa fair and balanced. Towards uh, on your scope, Mr. Cosby, right? You Facts know, have been, been disputed. disputed. Yes. Okay. Because you know, at the end of the day, everybody's entitled to a fair trial. Right. And see, a lot of these fair scopers don't realize that they are bloggers. You are now. You have now right. gone into the realm. You are. You are creating Liable. media. You're creating media. You're news media. Okay. Right. Tell me. People believe day. you. Yes. You know, more people read blogs than read exactly paper. And if I you get know, I get most of my news tell, from especially, Facebook, especially overnight. If you, because a lot of times news. The news entities, they shut down at 5 o'clock. So anybody that's reporting anything from 5 to midnight to morning, if you can go live with it, uh, I'll, I'll never forget, I, back in the, in the case of Miss Johnson, uh, the 90, Catherine, not, Catherine Johnson, I ended up, I was YouTubing at the time, and the police chief jumped right in my YouTube, and the next thing you know, it was, it, this was before Google yeah, Translation is, and everything. Let me tell you, they played, they took that video, put it on the front page of a website outside this country. It took me three days to find somebody to translate what they were saying. What they could not believe is that Atlanta being a historic place that it was, that this kind of thing would happen to an African-American woman, yeah. and that the police would get on a YouTube video and answer a blogger's questions before it even yeah. went to trial. Here's what you need to know about the new, the new media. The new media. New media, okay. New media segment. Breaking, breaking news happens Ooh. in the new media, and then the old media has to catch up. Catch up. And, I mean, that's why. They, that's why they're on Periscope. Perfect example. Justice Scalia, when he passed, I was driving back. Where was I coming from? Augusta. No, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. We were coming back from Macon. It broke on some obscure Twitter report. Yes. That I had to look at, and I had to vet. And that's what right. most major media do. They vet it. Before I posted on my Facebook, I had to make sure. And it wasn't until the San Antonio paper covered that tweet okay. that I you could. posted it. Okay. Because, again, once you enter into this realm, you are now yes. a reporter. And yes. you are held to the same standard. The case is uh, New, York, uh, New York Times versus Sullivan. It's the right. seminal Supreme Court case about defamation and, 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 and actually... The liability of reports. I hate to hear that word defamation. So you, you, does something to me. so you got to know. You got to know. You got to. And I and I will tell you, even as a blogger, you have one of the things you have to realize, and I and I, one of the things I've been telling these scopers is, you are a blogger, and a lot of times it we have a larger following See, than, than that many. Yeah, yeah, we have a larger following than some of these other entities. That's why yes. your local news is jumping on Periscope and doing Facebook Live and all of that. Because the reach on, on Periscope, I mean, just last week it was like 600,000. 
I'm telling them something, and next thing you know, this video has got two million. And just imagine if I had been wrong, then what? You Boom. can't retract that Boom. because it's gone. It's gone on. Yeah, you know, perfect example. Um, you know, I was on Fox News a while ago on the Megyn Kelly file, and um, mm. I found out that there is an undercurrent yes. on social media. It's a dark undercurrent. But they have a lot of followers. Mm -hmm. You have to understand whatever you're putting out there, people are watching it. Yes. And why media, you believing? media is watching it. You'd be amazed yes. the number of executive producers or producers or editors who are watching for new new, I'm telling new you. stories. Yeah. That your story that's yeah. on your scope or on yeah. your Twitter or on your Facebook could it, end up being the lead story. It, it will be the lead story because I will tell you, read, you read that while I uh, finish yeah. this thought. I'm, I'm I TMZ is paying big money. I had an opportunity to break a story one time, and I'll never forget. And this is when I realized, it's like, I don't want, I don't want to be that blogger. I was. Uh, this was before these traditional ways mm -hmm. of live streaming. I had to rig up some stuff, <laughs> and I was able to take this. There was an announcement going to happen. I won't even mention what it was, but there was an announcement going to happen, and everybody there was traditional media, which let me know. Oh, they got to get the information, take it back to the editor, mm -hmm. get it yeah, approved, and all this kind of stuff. stuff yeah. I could go live. Yeah. I looked, I rigged up a cell phone to another cell phone to my website, this, that, and the other, went live. And when I tell you the fact that I was going to take it live, I can't tell you how many entities now, of course, back in the day, you could see who was on, you could still today see who was on your website. This was, I could literally see the entities based on the servers that were on my website watching me take this announcement mm -hmm. live. This was 15 years ago. Yeah. Uh, and I want, when I tell you that 2 million uh, watched that, now, that scared the mess out of me because I was yeah. like, this has got to be right. Yeah. You got to be accountable. You are liable to that. You will get those letters, those cease and desist and things like that. Um, so, you know. From, from big law firms. From big law firms. And the thing about it is, the lawyer is coming at you and the person that they're representing don't even know because that's that's your job mm -hmm. is to look out for their for their best interest. Well, well here's the thing, and, and you gotta understand the web is a web. Yes. It's a net. Yes. Okay, so you got just like right now, I got Google alerts on all things that pertain to either me so or my firm. clients mm -hmm. or the organization that right. I represent. So I know what's being said, mm -hmm. how it's being said, where it's being said, mm -hmm. and these big firms are like that. They, you know, New York Times, they, they, they have one of the biggest law firms in the world. Right. You know, and, and they need to protect their brand just like anybody else. So if you writing on Bill Cosby. Y'all, we're going to go ahead and look it out. But y'all, go, okay. go look at the blogs on this Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby is no Be joke. balanced. Yeah, be balanced. Be okay. fair. Be fair. Because Bill may very well be innocent. And I hope he is. Wow. You know, and if he's proven... That he's innocent again. He don't have to prove nothing. They got to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he did exactly what they said he did. And, and that's another thing that we we flip script yeah. on is yeah, not yeah, realizing yeah. they got to yeah, they got to prove this. What, they, again, what is that? The burden. The burden of proof is on the state. Okay. And again, now all the state's evidence is in is in the media. Right. So we trying the case, trying wow. the case. People are making formal decisions. So now we know who to deselect on that jury. So we know how to get the right jury. What What to is some right things they're going to be looking for to deselect? Oh, people, are, have you already formed an opinion? Have you been reading the media? Yeah. Have you been following blogs? So how do they, by, if by chance, find people who really, because even in the OJ case, everybody was like, how do you not know this is going on? But there are people who are not news junkies, who don't know that these things are happening in right. our world. Five traffic violations submitted the right to travel case law. And it, okay, I'm going to need for you again. Stop practicing law on yourself. Okay? <laughs> yeah. The first thing the judge is going to say is, are you barred? Because you can cite the cases all day long, but enforcing the cases are two different things. What? Okay? So I would advise you contact an attorney and let that attorney fight for you. Uh, oh, but yeah. back to what you were saying about, you know, uh, bloggers and understanding mm -hmm. you need to be fair and balanced on Mr. Cosby. Because, again, I'm telling you right now, if this case goes to trial, O.J. Simpson would have been the trial of last century. Yeah. This would be the trial of this century. Ooh. And if he is found not guilty because they didn't have, that's what you asked about, the right. burden. Right. If they are not able to, to prove the case. beyond a reasonable doubt that he did exactly what they say he did. Regardless if he did it or not, they got to prove it. It's going to be some people that's in serious trouble. So all these schools are taking, about these taking back these doctorates and all these people that are out here saying all these things about Mr. S Mr. Uh, 
uh, uh, uh, Mr. Cosby, you might want to you might want to run it by a lawyer first. Yeah, yeah. You know, because yes, it, it looks bad because they were all these women. Okay, and my, mm -hmm. one of my great mentors said, just because fifty people say the same lie, don't make it true. Ooh, all right, y'all. You can have a hundred people say that Mr. Griggs is is um Mr. Griggs is white. Okay. But my birth certificate says I'm African American. Somebody said Mayor Reed if you call somebody a, a busted some liar or something, uh, is that di defamatory? Well, it depends on if you have damages, you know, if it's, if it caused damage. And okay. like I said in Mr. Cosby's case, it is damage. They pulled all his shows. Yeah. yeah. He's not getting residual income from the Cosby show. Ooh. I mean these these his damages we might not be able to quantify really anymore. Yeah. Mm. Okay? So if he wins, they got to go back and get, ooh. Okay, y'all, we got to watch this. Any other cases? Um, that's the biggest one I can think of right now. Okay. Is there any other? Can I take the ball without, not anymore. <laughs> not, in, not in Georgia. As of 92, you have, to, you, have to be, you have to graduate from an accredited law school to take the ball. Mm -hmm. Back in the past, you could, but now you can't do that. Why do people represent themselves in the courtroom? Cause I, I guess because they think that they can do it better than an attorney. And, and I mean, you might be right mm -hmm. to some attorneys, mm -hmm. but not all attorneys in the bar. Has there ever been a case where a person is just being, they just look at their attorney like, really? I like, see that all the time. I see it all the time. Across the table from like, you, like, really? Did, did, you did you really just say that? <laughs> and their client's like, did you really just say that? And right. the lawyer on his face is like, did I really just say that? The <laughs> judge is saying... Did you really just say that? All right, so yeah. we can go and sit in the courtrooms. Courtrooms are open. Yes, all okay. day long. I'm telling you, so if you want to, if you want to see some entertainment, mm -hmm. go to a traffic court. If you want to, see, I ain't going to sit in traffic court. You want to laugh? Sarah Master Brown, we're not going to sit in traffic court. Make sure you don't laugh too loud because we, we live in we live in Douglas County. It's hilarious. <laughs> Have you ever been down to Douglas County Courthouse and listen? To yes. Her, listen to some yes. of the things. That go on? No, you don't understand. We live in Douglas County. We all been in traffic. Court. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, 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 that is true. Cause I got I got pulled over right on that street over there. Yeah, we all been traffic. That's why traffic. My, my bar card is right there in the little thing. He said, "Oh, oh, you can carry on, sir." Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. Dang, I need one of those bar cards. Yeah. Because the judge doesn't. Yeah, we live in Douglas County. We've all we've all I been. <laughs> well, I don't, I'm not sure where you go in the court where the judge doesn't come. Uh, but if that's a problem, you can always uh, report that judge to the yeah. uh, judicial uh, nominations committee. And they'll look into it because you know you're supposed wow. to be doing your job. Augusta, okay. Well, I was just that's Richmond County, right? I was. We just, do. Why do we have so just, much happening? I was just down there with the mayor, um, with the NAACP. So uh, NAACP gets called in. And the here. mayor, the mayor is an, I believe he's an attorney. What is the situation um, in Augusta? It's a lot going on in Augusta. What I would say is get in touch with Augusta, Columbus. Get in touch yeah. with the um, with the Augusta Bar. Association, yeah, and they'll give you the number to the uh, to the district there for the judicial nominations committee and write a complaint. Y'all, I had no idea. We thought first Friday we were gonna just come in and chill yeah, out. I, I didn't and think I was gonna Attorney be here this Briggs, long. he was like, "Hey, listen, I'm free. I well, can come." Maybe, maybe I, I should, was like, "Hey, maybe I should start periscoping because I mean, this this you is, don't periscope. No, I don't, I don't periscope. You. I, you know, well, I don't do, don't I do. start periscope, but come and get on the scope. Okay, that's first, what I, that's first what I Friday. Do. We're gonna try to get him on on first Fridays, and we'll try to get Precious uh, to stay a little bit longer. I know she has she had to run, but every time we do the whole ask a lawyer even when i used to have precious on uh the show mm -hmm. she used to come on when i was on radio we, yes. but we always talked about family law yeah. uh and that was always a big concern child support legitimation well, most don't know their rights. And, and most fathers don't realize they didn't have rights and when you yeah, say to that child, yeah. over and over and over again you have no rights yeah. if you uh, if you have a child born out of wedlock mm -hmm. you have no rights that's, that's the crazy. purpose in georgia yeah real georgia's the bible belt yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, and so you have to understand. Somebody said this makes me want to practice. You should come, please. Go to law school. Pass the bar. I need more people that are gonna fight mm -hmm. for for people's rights because mm -hmm. you'd be amazed the number of attorneys that don't do it. What are some of the things that we can do? Is because I, and, and believe it or not, I started Dryer Buzz. I started uh, well, I started a community newsletter uh, based on a, a letter to the editor about the Rodney King situation and mm -hmm. some some of the first headlines we had has always been around justice issue. In fact, I get emails every now and then whenever I talk a little bit too much entertainment, people like, well, you know, drivers is becoming too much entertainment now. You know, it used to be justice. Most mm -hmm. of my following knows that we 
uh, cover a lot of justice issues, what we call down the I-20 corridor, meaning from here, from Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, mm -hmm. Mississippi, Texas, mm -hmm. right? And then people say, well, you don't cover the IT and what's going on in Florida. I mean, there's a lot. Everybody knows I started out as a community organizer, but I like some of the entertainment stuff, too, and I still got the matches to yeah, the entertainment attorney. Is, is fun, but, yeah. you, know, you know, sometimes But they gotta... make sure, hey, Zakia, and Zakia, Zakia is the one got the soap. We asked, okay. I asked the question Zakia, about... make sure you get a lawyer and make sure you have insurance, okay? Because you never know what the chemicals to cause some, some and issues, and that could be a problem. Because somebody could be watching her scope, because on her scope, you can see exactly how she's making her soap, and somebody just ill-gotten game. Yes. Yeah. Ill gotten game, never even really a customer. People can come at look. I've got insurance speaking with Good a job. lawyer at three o'clock. Good there job. You go. There you go. That's what we're talking about. We gotta have that kind of where y'all come from with all these it's comments. A lot of, it's a lot of comments yeah. going on. The whole courtroom frequent. Well, I mean, you know, Somebody I said I missed that. What did you miss? Make sure we get it. Hey, folks. There's folks are haters. Yeah. That and, I mean, let's let's talk about ATL ninety nine is a photographer. Let's say that she's out, she uh, photographs and wedding. Oh, and you run lose in, the pictures. Oh, you lose the pictures. I thought you said you run into Kanye and he damages your camera. Then you might Ooh, have a, you might have no. a suit against Mr. Mr. West. Because uh, we talked about that the fact of filming everybody. What, yeah, if what they're out in the public, person, if yeah. they're out in the public, you can film them. Okay. Okay. Now, if you climbing over stuff and taking pictures and all that, that's a different story. That's right. Using that long uh, angle lens yeah. and all that kind of good stuff. Out of wet like the wet lock, the out of wet like somebody had a question about the out of wet lock. Like oh, in Georgia, if you're not married. And you have a child out of wedlock, you right. have no rights. That Georgia is a Bible Belt state. They believe in the sanctity of marriage when it comes to the determination of, of in, in, uh, inheritance and the determination of rights. So, as a father, right. if you have a child out of wedlock, you have to legitimate the person. Right. Okay. And once you legitimate the child, then you have rights to call visitation and you have to pay child support. But before that, you have no rights. The mother can do whatever she wants. And until that law changes, you have to legitimize the child. Right. And Zakia, what was your question? And she said, okay, I, I understand about protecting her soap. She was talking about something about protecting her videos. Uh, let me know what your what your question is about that. Okay, you guys have popped in from yeah, somewhere. Man, we see new hearts. Somebody done them. invited their followers. Please, everybody invite your followers. We, we've had them long enough. We really started at 11 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, we've been going a long time. I don't even want, I don't even want to hear how much he would have charged for these hours That's he's been with us. And, and, yeah, okay. Informing the scope. If you didn't watch the previous scopes, he talked about your rights. He talked about that first point of contact, dealing with police. He talked yeah. about fighting for justice. We done talked about all y'all doing them scopes and vlogs about Bill Cosby. Yeah. You need to go be, clean be, that be up. fair and balanced to Mr. Yeah. Cosby, because like I said before, Lord oh, Lord told me I'm going to win the Senate Supreme Court. Everyone freak. Yeah, they're gonna freak out. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me who is that? Yeah, okay, gonna, Weezy Blitz. They gonna, you you y'all gonna have to get in the deal. Yeah, yeah. Going out in the deal. It's, it's a lot of it's a lot of questions. I he mean, got, I, I would he love got to answer. Issues. Okay, here's this. Hit me in my DM at Attorney yeah. Griggs on Twitter. Yeah. And yeah. I'll i answer your questions. But, you you got some real consultation trying to go on in the scope. Yeah, I'm but just I'm saying. telling you, if you're not a barred attorney, mm. It's very difficult, you know. We have protected our. Yeah, how, do we, that's how do we protect digital yeah. products? Oh, you got to trademark it, and you need a trademark. Your your things need to be trademarked. It's a train, another train. I don't know how many trains have gone by. Usually, we try to reset the yeah. uh, tone when the train goes by. Okay, digital products. Uh, we talked about, and we talked about uh, your social off, media first off, value. First off, attorneys of the bar are not crooks. Okay, that I mean, we are held to a higher standard. He's had a bad experience we, we, with an attorney. Yeah, you may have had a bad experience right. with an attorney, is? and you might want to deal with the bar as far as discipline that attorney. Okay. But, you know, we are held to a higher standard than most. We are held to a higher standard than the police. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I understand that some people feel that, you know, they have a problem with lawyers, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we are held to a higher standard. Uh, and, and if you go into a courtroom with that attitude, you, mm -hmm. you'll find that just quickly who has the power in there, right. and that's the judge. Right. I think we got the we got the next lunch crew is what we got. Oh, okay, that's what that so, is. You know, lunch lunch time. Just, we Why just got to tell the client about the right to travel and put. Okay, first off, he's he's discussing case. Law. I know you're discussing case law and yeah. the right to travel. Okay, but they also have a right to regulate the the, the streets that you ride on. It's called it's called a jurisdiction. This. Mm -hmm. Georgia has jurisdiction. You can be on an interstate and Georgia stop you, mm -hmm. and they have a right of, of jurisdiction over your person. Mm -hmm. It's a flat. It, it, basically, what you're arguing is, uh, and I've heard this many times, uh, it's basically um, 
sovereign citizens. Okay. Mm. And yes. I've, seen, I've seen many sovereign citizens go to we prison. We see that a lot. Okay? We see that a lot. And, and I don't think you should be arguing that. I think a lawyer should be arguing that. And these are, these are citizens, basically, they try they have cases they're trying to set precedent. Yeah, you're trying to set precedent. And I promise you, right. the only way you're going to set that precedent is if you go to jail and then you 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 uh, you um, mm. you appeal all the way up to the Supreme Court. Ooh. Okay, Zakir, uh, some of our some of our bloggers and scopers have been notified to come on in in this segment. Okay. And they were asking about digital products, how to protect it. But you mentioned earlier, yeah, because we gotta, own these apps, yeah. that the apps really the own apps the really content. own the content. That's why, you know, you have to, you can copyright your stuff uh, and, and make sure, and I'm not a copyright attorney, so this is not my area, but I know that you need to speak to a copyright attorney because there are ways to get your content Ooh. Even from them. Now, that's interesting because you just had the same answer that Precious Felder had mm -hmm. when we asked her about it. Yeah, I mean, I can't go into areas that I don't know a whole lot okay. about, but I can tell you what I did know to take the bar and what basic knowledge I have of copyright. Wow. You know, that's still. Damn. I, I, well, we, we know we, who I am. I'm sure they do. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they do. And I'm telling you, as a lawyer who has been a public defender, mm -hmm. has made that argument. You know, and seeing it win, and then see somebody else make the argument and mm -hmm. go to prison. I'm telling you, you need to make sure that wow. you 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 either have an attorney make that argument, or you you. I wouldn't make the argument, especially exactly. in a small county like that. Yeah. You'll find out real quick who has the power, and that's the judge. And it's interesting that a lot of this stuff does go down in small counties, yeah. small municipalities, and so forth. All right, y'all, we cannot hold attorney Griggs any longer. Uh, He's got, first of all, he's got to go to another county. Yeah. And uh, we don't want him to run in any kind of traffic. I do appreciate it. Anytime. And I, I I'm really all, again, I'm available for all your questions at Attorney Griggs. I think somebody scoped it. Yeah. Um, you know. He said, I'm going to hit you hit up. Hit me up. Well, I love to have the conversation. <laughs> um, you know, so hit me up at Attorney Griggs on mm -hmm. all social media. If you can't find that, just go into the hashtag Justice Fighter. That's my hashtag. And so I'll he be, knows to become be a hashtag, y'all. Yeah. Uh, trust me, I know what you guys are doing. Hopefully, you guys can train me on how to do this better, so we can get this uh, message. You make sure you take one of those books right the books? there. Books, okay. Yeah, take one of those books. So we can make sure that the message gets out in the new wave of social media. Yeah, I know Augusta used to be the state capital, um, <laughs> and so um, at that point, um, you know, you can get this message out into the, the masses, and with the masses have the message, we can change some things. Mm -hmm. Thank okay, you. so I, I thank everybody for the questions. Man, you guys were awesome. Um, this was the after awesome. scope. We had yeah. we actually had two, three scopes before this one. Um, we are live here at Tui on Friday, six seven eight six Broad Street. You can stop by. And next Friday, I don't even get to be on the scope. It's all men on the scope next Friday, and they're going to be talking. Uh, they want to talk about their mental health. There's a documentary coming out talking about uh, males and mental health and. Uh, there was a story out this week about the traditional gender roles and the wow. changing, uh, changing in leadership as well. We give, we, we may it possibly end up with the female president, first female president, but that's something that's happening in all sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, that this five percent. There's a move towards diversity in all yes. sectors, and I love it. Yes, and it's definitely happening. You notice he said that Bill, you said Bill Cosby got that exceptional. X. Exceptional attorney. Attorney. Wow. One of the best I've seen. Mm. There you go. Thank you so much for typing it. There he is at Attorney Griggs. Hashtag Justice Fighter. Give him your credentials and you're an attorney. I'm an attorney. The I'm, the, I'm the vice president of the local chapter of the NAACP here in Atlanta. I'm also the chair of the Criminal Justice Committee for the Georgia NAACP. What does that mean? Uh, chair that, of the criminal justice system. that means anybody have any problems with their rights anywhere in georgia where is it, whether it's in augusta in richmond county whether you're down in Lowndes county in valdosta mm -hmm. whether you you know uh in carroll county mm -hmm. whether you in, in uh, douglas county any county in georgia you contact your local naacp chapter and they will get in touch with me or you can get in touch with me directly and i have a conversation and we'll be down there there you, you go. know it doesn't matter that's what how, it doesn't matter what courtroom you in because right. i promise you it's who you know. Most judges in this in this state either have seen me or they've dealt with me. Is it who you know? Is it who you know? You know everything. Is who you know? Who you know? But it's also what you know so, and, and how so you. So I need to make sure and people know I know Attorney Griggs. I'm just saying, I know Attorney Griggs. I, I, I hear people. Yeah, they're saying no Hillary. Well, <laughs> the 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 uh, remain, the, the counter, remain the counter, counter. You know, remain, you gotta, you gotta remain balanced. 
I'm a you blogger. Know, I remain balanced. I hope whoever our next president is will move towards right. the centers. Because you got to govern. You govern from the center. Mm. You know, and you govern in a coalition. Wow. And go to your gold dome. Go to your gold dome. Yes. Go sit in your courtrooms. And I will tell you that the most interesting courtroom to sit in on is the one where people are getting, uh, 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 what's the one where the person has to stay away from you? What is that? Oh, you, oh yes, you're right. You talk about the most, Fridays, what is it called? Uh, uh, getting uh, a, uh, temporary protective orders protective or permanent order. protective orders. Those are very good. Woo, very, I'm well, telling you. You hear it all. You do hear it all. And it's so funny because you go with, the thing that is most interesting about that courtroom is the victims at, well, I, I kind of, well, okay, the victims and, and the person stalkers. Yeah, that's the, they court, be sitting in the, the same, stalker they be sitting courtroom. On the same they sitting right there together, yeah. and you and then all of a sudden you see this person. They go up there together, and you hear these stories, and you're like, "Oh my God, what is this world we live in?" Yeah, it's, it's real interesting. It's but, uh, interesting. I really do have to go. It's yeah. been wonderful. Don't you, do you anything seen, without an attorney. You've seen the hashtag. Uh, you've seen, um, you know, everything. So you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was good. I like that. Um, uh, so please contact me. Yes. Um, and I'll try to help you. If I can't help you, I will turn you on to the person that can. All right, guys. And we're going to uh, edit this. We're going to be running these all over. Let me tell you, you know, you're going to be able to watch it on demand all weekend. The barbershop salon. Let everybody know. If your barbershop, your salon is not showing Dry of Us TV on the weekend, now I showed you guys a scope of just how to do that. Uh, and we'll, you'll be able to see these, all these sound bites. He just gave y'all all these rights, laws, all that kind of stuff. You're going to get it uh, in your timelines. We'll keep you informed. And he'll be back, right? Yes, he'll I will be, be back. back. He'll be back. All right, guys. Thank you. See y'all later. Woo, y'all were great and amazing. I'm telling you. Good night. You are a, definitely a spiritually filled thinking woman. And that is uh, what we've been lacking in our community. Go now to DryerBuzz.com and follow at DryerBuzz on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's all about the buzz.